let me show you how to never fail another exam in your whole life. And there's only really one step to it. I'll split that step up into three things, but if you can understand this one thing, you will never fail another exam, and I can promise you that. If the promise doesn't work out, I give you full permission to flame me down in the comments, but let's see how to do it. First things first, I wanna congratulate you on being in a point in your life where you can fail exams. That means you're pushing yourself more than 90% of the people out there. So what is the big step? What is the big secret? The big secret is go over all the material that's in the exam at least three times. It's not a hack that'll just, you know, put in less effort and you get more out of it, but it's very useful because you can put in a ton of effort and study like hours and hours and hours for this exam and still not go over all the material for the exam at least three times. So it sounds easy, but let me break it down so you know you're doing it right. The first thing that you need to do to make sure you're doing it right is go to class. Now with online school, it's more tempting than ever to not attend live class. Some teachers don't even have live classes and just post them. And that's up to you to go to class. And if it's posted, watch it as soon as you can after being posted. I know some people who can successfully do it later, but if you're worried about failing the class, don't put yourself in that situation. And that's part number one. Make sure you put every effort out there to go to class. Now going to class actually counts for one of the three times you go over the material. Congratulations, you're already a third of the way there. Now hopefully during class you made it easy on you for part two, and that is go over your class notes. Now, I know some people who don't take notes very well, or some people that do better if they're just laser focused in it, and that's okay. But make sure that you have some notes to go over. I know in medical school, optometry school, you have a lot of class note takers who will share notes with the rest of the class. Get your hands on some of those if you can, or just a good friend that you know that takes better notes than you. Get your hand on some notes and go through it. And this is the part where people get lost, is people think time spent on detail equals time spent on the material, and that is completely wrong. Do not waste your time on details until you go over it the third time. Your second time going over your notes, you need to make sure you go over them quickly and don't focus in on each tiny detail. You wanna get a big overview picture of it all. I know that in medical school and in optometry school, a lot of the things aren't little nitpicky, you know, tiny little things, tiny little details you need to work out. I mean, in some classes there are, but even if it is, each class will benefit you if you get a big picture first before you look at any detail. So if you like to spend 10 hours studying and in those 10 hours you only go over the material once, but each detail once, you're setting yourself up for a better chance of failure because you've only seen everything once. How are you going to remember things? Seeing them multiple times. If you spend one hour on one lecture once, that is worse than spending one hour on that lecture but going over that lecture three different times. Your brain loves repetition. It can hold on to repetition. Repetition puts it in your mind. I love to listen to podcasts or YouTube videos more than once because if that information is important to me, I didn't catch it the first time. The more you expose yourself to material and the more frequently you do that, the more it sticks. And then part three, is find a completely new way to go over it the third time. Now that third way, I want it to be different, and I don't want you to just re-listen to a lecture or go over notes because I want your brain to remember the information and not random details. Sometimes when we're studying, we focus on some random details that are in our notes but aren't gonna be on the test because the teacher didn't really stress that. And you won't know that unless you go over it in a completely new way. I know someone who takes notes in a flashcard format so that he can go over just flashcards of the lecture as his third method of study. And this is a great time to do group study. Don't study with a group for all your studying, but that third time you go over the material, going over it with a group and seeing different opinions can be very valuable. What you need to do is just make sure that that third time you go over it, it's different. And that's all there is to it, and now you'll never fail another exam. But let me show you how I put this into practice in my optometry school. So what I do is I make sure to go to class and I take paper notes. 
So in that basic science class, we have our 12 lectures Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the following Tuesday morning, we have an exam on it. And Sunday night, I go over my handwritten paper notes. And so I go get my notes out and I go through each lecture. You don't focus on the details, you just make sure you expose yourself to the information again and remember what was said during the lecture. And then the night before the exam, so Monday night, I meet in a group of about three people and we go over the lecture notes that we have and the PowerPoints that are released with the slides and we make sure that we hit everything in each lecture and see what each other thought about it. And that way Tuesday morning comes around and you don't have to worry about failing. Now, this isn't going to be foolproof and I'm not saying you don't have to study hard, but if you do this, if you make sure that you go over all the information at least three good times, you're never going to fail another exam again. And I can promise you that and we'll see you in the next video. But don't forget to smash the like button.